proves to be uh, a good man, as good as a superman. Yeah. Anyway. So, then we get more of the gentleman's story. He gets to go visit his wife, uh, who for, for her, uh, he's only been gone uh, may, maybe, maybe a year, something like that. Of course, from his perspective, and again, in the realm where he's at, you don't age or anything. So for him, it's been like hundreds or thousands of years or something like that. But he gets a, a little reunion with his wife while Bruce and Diana continue to fight. Okay, more stuff here. Let's uh, see. Let's skip a page or two. We don't want any any copyright stuff coming down on us. Okay, so we see the gentleman. He he too keeps his vow. He's uh he's had his one day off, so to speak, and he returns to the battle after Bruce and Diana have been at it and gone from their perspective for years. And we come to the end of the story. Bruce and Diana part ways, leaving Bruce with Catwoman. And we're left with this idea that, you know, maybe they will go uh, give the gentleman a break again at some point in the future, but this time Catwoman plans to go with Bruce, uh, you know, husband and wife, fighting the hordes together, and so Diana, you're out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, but like I said, a good story. Uh, I would highly recommend it. Uh, in fact, I would recommend just about anything uh, written by Tom King. Uh, he's definitely one of DC's rising stars, uh, if, if not a full-blown star at this point. Uh, very good story. Definitely worth reading and checking out. Uh, really had only two minor complaints. Uh, the ease with which Catwoman took down the gentleman just didn't seem quite right considering who this character is and and that kind of thing. And also a bit too on the nose as far as what this story presented. And again, you know, I'm I'm not going to uh, say Tom King ripped off anything, uh, if he was even aware of this story. Uh, I mean, it was uh, years ago. I mean, nearly nearly a 20-year-old story, but still very, very similar. Uh, by the way, if you ever want to go dig this out of a back issue bin somewhere, definitely worth reading. The the Joe Kelly run on Superman in the in Superman action comics in the early 2000s was... Uh, a really good run on Superman. So, there you have it. My review of Tom King's Batman 39 and 40. And hopefully this will be the first of many such reviews. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you next time. Bye.